Hi, I'm Kasan Mitanage. I'm going to demonstrate you how we can create APIs for WSO2 API manager using command line. For this, you need to install the API MCLI, which is the command line tool for WSO2 API manager. And for this, we are going to use the Saga document. Uh, we are going to use this pet store. Uh, you can download it and save it. I have already uh, downloaded it. Uh, uh, for initialize the new project, you will need to give this command apmcli init. Then give the project path. I am going to give pet store API. And uh, to give the saga specification, I will need to give uh, OS flag. And in here, I will uh, give this uh, pet store saga. Uh, you can use. Uh, json you can use open api 3 for this uh, initialization process after you executed the command you can see this uh, new project has been initialized i'm going to open uh, the project using my um, text editor so in here there are various files being created uh, this readme file will give you a brief introduction to the project uh, in this api ml you can see uh, this most of the information have been populated from the uh, details you can find in this figure document you can edit these fields like uh, api name version etc and save this file and import this uh, generated api into uh, an api manager for this i'm going to issue this command called apmcli import api I'm going to give the file path for the API using uh, this F flag and I'm going to use this uh, E flag to import this into development environment. I'm going to use dev. You can learn about uh, this in our documentation, how we can add a new environment. So then I will uh, give this uh, K flag. Uh, for insecure because I'm using this instance in my local machine so when I execute the command this API has been uh, imported into this API manager we can uh, see uh, it in this publisher store uh, publisher of the API manager uh, next I will uh, talk about how we can um, share common information about uh, your organization uh, across your uh, APIs. For example, your business uh, email, your business uh, name. Uh, for all the API you creating, this uh, information will be common. So there is a file called uh, this uh, default API. In uh, your home folder, there's a uh, directory called dot wso to api mcli in there there's this default api.yml which is being used as a template for creating new apis you can change these fields you can add your business information in here you can share it with your uh, co-workers so they will get the same uh, effect so using this file you can uh, uh, create APIs with uh, common information. So the next thing I'm going to talk about uh, how we can uh, change fields dynamically. For example, let's say you are initializing few APIs and each uh, one of API have different name and different version and you need to give these things using an effective way. So for that you can give an additional definition file I have already created in one for you. In here you can give this uh, uh, fields you like uh, and if you want to have a uh, uh, field from environment variables you can give it uh, in this way. So I am going to uh, give, uh, create this API. Uh, so you, as you saw there are two environment variables API name and API version I am going to set them quickly. And uh, I'm going to use the same command apmcli init 
I'm going to give this path as my API and to give the definition file you need to specify the flag called D and give the definition file. So you can see this new API has been created. I'm going to open it up. So in here, you, if you uh, take a look at this API.yaml, you can see this information you provided in the environment variables has been automatically injected into uh, our API project. So and uh, you can see this uh, default saga file was generated from the command line. Uh, tool uh, so this is the uh, uh, so in this uh, demonstration uh, we have talked about various techniques for initialization of the APIs uh, you can read uh, about this process in our documentation learn more uh, about uh, creating APIs using command line thank you